my sense is that the most important factor uh, that underlies both popular culture and, and religion is the need to belong to something, uh, some larger community. And in religion, the way to belong for those who truly believe involves the body. And so the, the body is manipulated and ritualized and sometimes the body is hurt uh, in order to belong to that community. The reason they're doing that, there are lots of reasons, but the main one is because the part of them that resists the pain is the ego. It's the individual self. Pain undermines work and, and uh, being busy and, and family and the kinds of things that religious people are looking to get away from in order to become one with God. So when pain undermines the ego, it builds up a replacement. Y you know, pain undermines our business, okay? the, our way of being in the world. Okay? When you're in pain, you're nothing. To you and me, that's a bad thing. But to somebody who wants to be nothing, that's a good thing. Why do they want to be nothing? Because the minute they become nothing, the minute you erase yourself, you open yourself up to God. You have to dig in order for the water of a river to fl flood that space. What they're doing is they're, they're digging, eliminating, and making room for divine waters, so to speak. That's what the pain does for them. I think the body plays a huge role in popular culture too, usually as a metaphor. It's not so much that you will see people um, manipulating or contorting their bodies in popular culture, but they use the body uh, symbolically. Uh, you will see, for example, tattoos or uh, piercing or uh, the imagery of body in uh, video and, and film uh, in dance uh, and music is usually, well, not usually, but often about trying to connect to a larger uh, audience and a larger community. Uh, that's how I see the connection. I, I think that it, in the covering up of a woman in the slum, if you ask a woman, why are you covering yourself up? Don't you want to be free? She will say, no. My attitude is covering my body empowers me. I cover my body to show that I'm in charge of my body. It's not subject to male gaze, right. for example. And so this is a kind of a paradoxical use of the body to empower the person. It's not self-destructive, but it stands out. Mm -hmm. The man who, who puts a suicide belt around his waist and, or whatever and then blows himself up. <laughs> Please, do not panic. Everything okay. Come, follow me. Please, come with me. Come, follow me. Please, come with me. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. Is giving his body to the cause. Okay, so that too, in in a sense, even though he's he's giving his body to the cause, he's giving his body to the cause. So that too, in in a sense, even though he's he stops existing, he uses his body to affirm his faith, and through that, he tries to connect to something greater. Um, so, yeah, and in popular culture, the way folks dress, it, it's hardly ever just accidental. People are going to adopt a style that connects them to somebody. I think what, what uh, folks need to understand about some of us who do religion is that when it counts the most, it's about the body. It's not about the soul or the mind, it's about the, the body. Religion makes the most sense when the body is engaged in it. Thank you.